Hey guys, and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike with Designs by M. And today I thought I would do something a little bit different from my channel. Normally I focus on paper crafting, but lately I've seen a lot of videos on people glittering their stainless steel tumblers. And I have like three or four of these in my house and everybody is always mixing everybody's cups up. And I used to have a design on here in vinyl, but after several, several years it finally started coming off so I decided to go ahead and remove the rest of it and we were at Walmart today and this is where I picked up all my supplies and I thought well why not just glitter this one we did pick a few more of these up at Walmart today they're a little under seven dollars and these are the stainless steel ones that keep your drinks hot or cold for really a long time this is a really old mug so it wobbles so I thought I would start with an old mug to see what happens and if I like it then you know maybe I'll buy a brand new one and do the new one so I've never done this before I thought I would just bring you guys along for the um, for the fun and we'll see what happens so I have my stainless steel mug all I've done is washed it with soap and water and then I did wipe it down with a paper towel that I put some rubbing alcohol on just to get some of the oils off. And then I did just tape the top and bottom. I don't really want my lip on this, so I just put the tape about the, um, the width of the masking tape. So, and the width of the masking tape is uh, a little bit less than half an inch. Okay. And then today I'm using Mod Podge. This is the hard coat Mod Podge and this holographic blue glitter this is a different type of glitter it's kind of like um, it reminds me instead of glitter being like fine and maybe round this is kind of like it's i don't know if i can really explain it it reminds me of miniature um sprinkles for like a cake or something just because they're not round they're kind of like oblong or rectangle shape they're kind of neat so from all the videos I've watched, the first thing that I'm going to do is apply some of this Mod Podge, sprinkle on my glitter, let it dry, and then repeat the process. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to just use it right out of the uh, container since I'm just going to be painting this on right now. But when I do have the glitter put on and then I reapply, I will probably end up putting this in a, um, putting the glue in a separate container so that I don't contaminate the, uh, the jar. So from what I've seen, you just go ahead and paint it on and then you smooth it out as much as possible. So I'm going to get my coat on here first. Try to make sure that I'm in screen for you guys. So I'm just going to get a coat on here and then I'll come back and uh, smooth it out. Yeah, I really enjoy my cup. Um, I've had this cup probably three or four years now and it's great for ice water or if you put ice in something it stays forever. I live in Southern California and sometimes in the uh, summer months it can get over you know 105 degrees and if I leave my water or soda with ice in it in the car and come back a couple hours there's still ice and it's still really cold so I really like that and then lately I've been using it for coffee and so I'll put coffee in it and my coffee will stay hot I mean really hot for you know most of the day so I really enjoy my cup so I'm just gonna go ahead I have a coat on it looks like I got a pretty good coat I'm just gonna try to smooth this out as best I can I can already feel it getting tacky so I don't want to wait too long but I think if I don't s smooth it out there's gonna be spots that look uh, chunky when I put the glitter on so I want to make sure that I smooth it out as best as possible and there's going to be brush strokes and I'm okay with the brush strokes. Like I said, this is my test anyways. Just kind of want to see what, what happens. And I'm, I'm kind of good with that coat. So let's open glitter and 
I'm not a big glitter fan and I'm already expecting to have glitter everywhere for several years to come. But let's put on some glitter. And I guess I gotta do this liberally. I like this glitter though. This is really pretty. This is like really chunky. It's not fine at all. It's real chunky glitter. So we'll see how this does. So let's put this guy on here. And because this is for myself, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube um, use the epoxy and things like that. I'm not gonna put epoxy on mine. I always hand wash my cup anyways. And um, so therefore, I'm, pro I'm not gonna do the epoxy. I'm just gonna put a final, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna let it dry. I will put another coat of Mod Podge and glitter. And then once that's dry, I will just put a layer of the Mod Podge on top. And for me, I'm going to be good with that. Like I said, this is an old cup. I just kind of want to differentiate mine from everybody else's. And I think this will do it. And if it comes off in the process, then I'll just make another cup, right? So there we go. It looks like I've gotten everything covered. I'm going to let this dry, like I said, for a good couple hours and then come back and do another coat and then seal it with a final coat of Mod Podge. And what I'll do is I'll pause the video here for you. It'll be instant. Let it dry and then come back. So what I'll do though in the meantime is I'm going to take my, I have this on paper. So I'll just funnel the paper and put it back into my jar so I don't waste any of this glitter. So I will see you guys in a couple hours after this first coat has dried. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half, I guess, and I'm just gonna take the brush, and this is the brush that I'm gonna be using. This is actually the brush that I use to put the uh, the Mod Podge on and I um, just washed it and a lot of the glitter is coming off and I figured I'd take some of the excess off before I lots coming off I figured I'd take a little bit of the ex excess off before I dip my brush into the uh, to the rest but a lot is coming off so we will see Well, I'm just gonna go for it. As you can see, a lot is coming off, but I have some, and I put it in a little Dixie so I didn't contaminate my original container. And we'll just go over this and see what happens. Like I said, it's a kind of a, more of a test than anything. But I don't, what I'm afraid of is I don't want to pull off what's already there, is what I don't wanna do. And I'm afraid that that's what's gonna happen because it seems to be doing that. But maybe if I pounce. Yeah, pouncing seems to work. And maybe I didn't let it dry enough, I don't know. But pouncing seems to work, so we'll just pounce. Like I said, I've never done this before. I see so many people doing this and thought, let's try it. I need my cup to be differentiated from everybody else's in the house. And I'm not selling this, so I will hand wash this myself. The two things that I put in here are coffee and water mostly, so I can hand wash that. That's not a big deal. Yeah, 
dabbing works so much better. And then this next time, I'm going to let this dry like really, really well. Before I add the uh, final coat of uh, the Mod Podge here. I actually might need to put some more in my Dixie cup. I thought I had enough, but maybe not. Maybe I do. I just poured it into this little cup because I didn't want to... Obviously the brush has got glitter on it now. I didn't want to contaminate my uh, my main source there. And actually that I think just was enough to cover that. So maybe that did work out. And I'm afraid to smooth it, but yeah, actually that doesn't look too bad. There we go. We'll just smooth this gl this uh, glue out, just like so. As so I get glitter everywhere. So if you follow my channel, we'll have to do a uh, an update at some point to tell you how well this sustained hand washing and just everyday life yada yada type of things. And then if you also watch some of my videos, you'll also see if I mention, hey, I'm finding glitter everywhere. Because <laughs> I kind of would like to call that out in future videos if I'm... Uh, finding glitter from this project in future videos. So let's open our glitter and then we'll do a final coat of glitter on here. And if you have any tips or tricks for me, you know, I may try this again, I don't know. This is like I said, this is my first time. Depending on how this comes out, maybe I'll do another one, I don't know. But we just bought some more of these at Walmart today for the fit rest of the family. And for my son, we bought a white one. It already came white. And I told him, you can put stickers on it or you could do whatever you want with it. So he's all excited. So that's going to be fun. Can't wait to see what he does with his. He's very creative. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this coat once this glitter coat dries. I'm probably gonna let this sit for longer than I did the last time. The last time was almost two hours. Um, I'll probably let this one sit maybe a little bit longer than that. And then when I'm done, I'll give it one final coat of uh, Mod Podge. And then um, take the tape off and we'll see what we have. So that looks pretty neat. Looks decent to me. I'm gonna dump this back into my jar and then put this off to the side. I got stuff all over my hands. I'm gonna have glitter for years, but um, I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and then I'll put a final coat of uh, Mod Podge on and we'll see what happens. All right, so I am back and something I learned about myself, not surprisingly enough, but it's only been about 20 minutes since I put the, uh, the glitter on the last and I just realized that I'm very impatient and I cannot wait two hours for this to dry. So <laughs> I put more Mod Podge in another Dixie cup and I'm just going to do what I did last time and dab because I know if I try to move the brush like as a paint stroke that glitter is going to come off and so this is what I'm doing it may not be right but this is what I'm doing 
because it's my cup and I like to break rules. So we're going to apply the Mod Podge like this and then once I get it all on then I'll probably go back and smooth it a little bit. I put a little bit of extra in my cup so that I would have enough this time. But I don't know. As of this one, I don't think I want to be making these. This is just way too time consuming. I really appreciate and I love watching the videos that everybody else does. They're beautiful, but they are very time consuming to wait several hours for these to dry. So I'm very envious of the people that can do that and they have those machines that turn, those rotisserie machines that they have that turn the product so that it's all even. Very impressed. I'm just gonna be happy if I pick my cup up and I don't have glitter all over the place. That's my goal right now. Cause I'm really afraid of that. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a glitter person. So it's really scaring me that I have loose glitter everywhere and I'm really hoping that the first time I pick this cup up, I don't have glitter everywhere. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? I'm like freaking out thinking about it. I just wanna get this coat on to maybe like poke in the, uh, the glitter that's sticking out and then I'll kind of smooth it out a little bit or I'm gonna at least try to. You will see with me what we come up with. Almost done here. Got back to my beginning. Almost done. There we go. All right, so I think I have a really good coating on this, like a lot. <laughs> Just make sure that I have everything covered and coated. And then I'll start smoothing it out a little bit. I figured this way, like I said, I've never done this before, but I figured if I at least coated it in the Mod Podge, maybe it would have a less chance of pulling off when I smooth it out. So now I'll go ahead and try to smooth it a little bit. And I'll put one more coat after this. I started reading the bottle after the fact, and the bottle, it's kind of contradictory. There's parts of it that say to allow 20 minutes per coat, and then there's a spot that says two hours. So that's kind of like after the 20 minutes I waited between my last glitter session, I was like, well, it says 20 minutes. Why can't I do 20 minutes? Because I'm impatient, that's why. So we'll just kind of run this down and get it as smooth as possible. It's kind of hard to turn on your hand and not get your hand in all this glue and glitter, but we'll do it. Okay, that well, doesn't look too bad actually. If I touch, I want to wipe some off, but my hand is stuck in here and if I wipe some off on the container, I know I'm going to tip the container. Let's try to do a little bit. Eh, not too bad. All right. Actually coming along pretty nicely. I thought I would have a lot more glitter pull off when I was putting this coat on, but it doesn't seem to have. And that looks pretty good to me. All right, now I'm gonna let this one dry, well, as long as I can. <laughs> and, um, and then I'll come back and I'll apply a final coat of Mod Podge just to, uh, just to seal the entire thing. 
because like I said, my, f my biggest fear is picking up my cup and having a handful of glitter, which I definitely don't want. Um, there's so many different Mod Podge products out there. Um, I saw somebody use this one, and this one is called Hard Coat. I'll show it again. So that's the one that I grabbed. I know they have dishwasher and all sorts of stuff. So this is the one that I bought. So I'm going to go ahead and, now that I'm messing it up by going over it more than once, I'm going to try to even this out again and then when I come back we'll apply our final coat and then we'll be good to go. All right, so about 20 minutes into this drying, I thought, I wonder if I should remove the tape because um, I don't want the tape to get stuck onto this. And I was afraid with maybe a couple coats of Mod Podge that the tape would get stuck. So we'll just take it off now. There we go. I'll just wipe some of the stuff off. There we go. Not too bad. I already took the bottom one off. And I'll just go ahead and let that dry now. I probably took the tape off a little too soon because the bottom is still a little runny. But let's try to clean it up as best I can, I guess. I'll come back with some acetone, like nail polish remover, and clean up all this at the end. But for now, now I'm going to let it sit for real. <laughs> so it's still really wet, and I think I'll until it dries clear, I won't touch it. So we'll leave it until then. So I'll see you back in a minute. All right, so it's been about three hours. And it, I still have a lot of white in here. So it still hasn't dried yet, but I'm going to go ahead and apply my final coat. One thing that I did do is I reapplied my tape. And I left a little bit of a gap. I don't even know. You probably can't see it. But there's a little bit of gap. So there's a little bit of the metal showing. That way when I go ahead and I apply, maybe you can see it here. When I apply my um, Mod Podge, my final coat, it just covers the edges there so they're not really exposed. The other thing I did was when I took the tape off the first time it was a little bit hard so I left a little bit of an edge on the top as well as the bottom so that I can peel it off a lot easier next time. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the final coat and then I'll just let this sit overnight but I really like the way it's come out so far. So far so good. So I'm just going to glob a bunch on here and then I'm going to go ahead and go back around and smooth it out. I just want to get a good coat on here. And if you guys know a way to clean up loose glitter from all over the place, Leave me some uh, comments in the description box below. <laughs> I have glitter everywhere. So I mostly I kind of want to focus on the top and the bottom too because I think when I pulled the tape off the first time I noticed there was a little bit more exposed at the you know at the very 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 top edge and the very 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 bottom edge more so than I had anticipated. But I think with experience, you probably will anticipate that. And if I was making this for somebody else, I probably would have went ahead and put a third coat of glitter on. But again, the theme of this is I'm really impatient. And although I really like the way it's coming out, there's just... I like to start a project and then be able to finish it within a couple hours. and. 
This one, it's like you do a step and you have to wait, which is fine. But for me, I really like to make sure that I can start and finish a project in one sitting. So for me, while this is kind of fun, I, I don't really see myself making a lot of these, but we'll see. So let's just smooth this out. And as you guys can, you might be able to see, you might be not be able to see, I messed up here. There's like a spot there that I messed up. I touched it while it was still wet. Again, impatient, but for the most part, it's going on really smooth. I, I really have a smooth, uh, a smooth surface here with the exception of that spot. And so just go through and smooth it all out. And another call out is when I took my tape off on the, when I did the second coat of glitter, I took the, uh, was it the second coat of glitter? When I put the Mod Podge on before this last time, I took the tape off and I think I only let it set 20 minutes before I took the tape off. I would definitely let it sit a little bit longer because it, um, probably an hour would have been better if I would have let it set an hour before I took the tape off the first time because it was still a little wet and I had some spots on the bottom that sank a little bit. I was able to push them back up, but, and it wasn't a huge deal, but if you are doing it, I would wait probably the hour to uh, take the tape off. All right, just making sure that I have my bottom and the top well coated. Cause like I said, that's probably where it's gonna come off the most if it were to come off. So, all right, I'm gonna smooth this out and then I'm gonna, it's late here, well not real late, but enough where I'm not gonna mess with it until tomorrow. <laughs> all day I've been trying to mess with this, hoping that it would be done and dry, so the next step, but now I'm really going to just put this down and let it dry until tomorrow and then I'll take the tape off tomorrow, I'll probably take the tape off maybe in an hour and then I'll show you the final result tomorrow. So this will be my last coat though. All right, see you in a minute. All right, so it's me again and I have my final coat on still, it's still drying as you can see. But I started thinking and I had these beautiful gems in my stash and I thought, why don't I use some of those gems? So I think those would look really nice on this. I don't know if they'll stay on or for how long, but I thought we would at least try them. And I'm just gonna dip them in the, uh, the Mod Podge with trying, I don't know, trying to think of a way to do it without getting glue all over me, but. Just put it at the bottom. Actually, if I put some here, it's probably just as easy. Yeah, it's probably better to have the glue on directly on here. That way, it kind of fills in a little bit of the the gaps. So I'm just gonna continue all around. Even if like here I got a little bit over, it'll dry clear, so it should be okay. Just 
Just kind of try to make sure they're even. And this, they're sliding down just a little bit. So. So I may have to let them set for a second and then push them back into place. Now this is some blinged out cup, what do you think? I might need to use more than I have here. I think I have enough. I have some more, but I had them matched up by color, but I'm going to have to just dip into the ones I have off to the side now. two small ones next to each other. And kind of make sure these, they're kind of overlapping now and I don't want them to overlap. Tilt them around and see what they look like this way. Let those dry. All right, so I am back and my Mod Podge has dried. My glitter is all set in, nothing's coming off. Went ahead and I took rubbing alcohol and wiped the top and bottom. They got rid of all the residue and this is my cup. 
I probably should have if you look I don't know if you guys can see it but um, if I look really closely I could still see a little bit of the uh, silver shining through so a third coat definitely would have been needed but you can definitely tell my cup from everyone else's now <laughs> so leave me um, a comment in the description box below I'd like to know what you thought about this I know this was something different for my channel definitely definitely de something different for myself also but would I do it again? I don't know. Maybe not right away. Just because um, the whole process of waiting in between coats for it to set up a little bit. I like to sit to uh, do projects start to finish, you know, pretty much if I can. But you never know. All right. Until next time. Bye.